eventually in the pole vault, I am hoping to place in the top three at least. Um, I've been doing my best at practice considering that I have an injury right now, but um, I'm hoping to come out there and just do my best for the team and hopefully score some points. Yeah. Some of my favorite parts about being a student athlete here at CNU is being able to come to practice and just having a family friendly environment amongst the team and just encouraging everyone every day at practice and doing our best. We're very lucky to have these facilities as a Division III school and we're also um, very thankful for all the support that we've received from faculty and administration that come out and cheer us on as a team during uh, competitions as well. So we've had a handful of meets so far this season. We've seen some great competition from our competitors that we're going to see at conference and all of our meets have been working working up as stepping stones all tying together into conference and we're just excited to see how well everyone performs. So as my last indoor championship I'm really looking forward to as on the women's side to hopefully defend our conference titles and get out there and compete to the best of our abilities and there's also a lot of new faces on the team so I'm excited to see how well they're going to perform as well. Well my personal goals are really just to be as helpful to the team as I possibly can, scoring as many points as, as possible in however many events as possible. Um, and for the team of course the overall goal is to come out with that win since we've been um, having that, that streak for the past couple of years. We want to keep that going. Yeah, um, my, my history in the mile, as most people in the conference probably know by now, has been pretty strong, and I'd like to keep that going, obviously. Uh, I haven't quite gotten my win just yet, but that's, that's what we're looking for. Um, of course, I know I'm not as strong as I usually am at this point right now, so it's going to be a challenge, but I... I've done it before, I can do it again. <laughs> um, my favorite parts mostly revolve around the team itself. I've spent most of my day with my teammates from morning practices to meals to afternoon practices and just hanging out outside of practice. So it's definitely one of the things that has not only shaped my whole experience but probably shaped my whole career outside of both track and field and in life, really. Uh, well, this year has definitely been, been a ride. Um, with the loss of our really strong senior class, we've had a lot to figure out ourselves this year. And throughout the cross season, it was really, really difficult to, for all the people who needed to step up into leadership positions to do that. And we're still kind of figuring that out, but it's definitely working a lot better now. Um, now that we've had that experience and for the for the championships specifically um, going through not being able to to hold that that win during the cross season has influenced uh, influenced us a lot through this season to to work even harder to make sure that that we keep our other streaks going um, and you know, as much as the success of everyone else in the conference is great, you know, we obviously prioritize our own over theirs. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing everybody in the same building again. Like, it's, there are, I do have a lot of friends throughout the conference, so it's nice kind of meeting up with everyone in the same place once again and kind of seeing how everyone's improved, how everyone's uh, changed and uh, just have, being in that fun, competitive atmosphere again is just one of the greatest things that the championships bring.